What's up, everybody? I'm Super J. I'm the Wrestle Cave. I bring to you a whole lot of cool videos, including action figure matches, reviews and unboxings of wrestling figures, reviews of Raw Smackdowns and pay-per-views, too. That's why I'm here tonight. I haven't been on here in a while to bring you guys any news or any rumors, but what a crazy, fun Smackdown Live it was tonight. As you guys know, a lot of crazy stuff happened. And if you didn't, shame on you. You should have watched Smackdown Live. I'm a big Smackdown fan, okay, for years. Even going back to the first brand extension, I was a big fan of Smackdown when they had the likes of The Undertaker, Batista, JBL, Eddie Guerrero, John Cena, amongst more stars over the years. And now they just put on a better product, man. It's a two-hour show. It's shorter. Uh, it's better written. And uh, they just had better wrestlers and more unique talent on Tuesday nights. And if you watched Monday Night Raw, Becky Lynch, at the end of Raw, closed the show out all bloodied as her and the SmackDown female wrestlers took the fight to Monday Night Raw and beat the hell out of all the Raw superstars. But in that whole tussle of a brawl to end Monday Night Raw, Becky Lynch took a stiff right hand from Nia Jax, the, uh, the plus-size model, so to speak, uh, put Becky Lynch on her ass. And Becky Lynch ended up uh, having a broken nose or broken face, as they said on SmackDown Live, and also a severe concussion, which is going to, uh, you know, keep her out of the fight against Ronda Rousey at Survivor Series. So to begin the show, they said that. They said later in the show, we'll find out who is going on to Survivor Series to fight uh, Ronda Rousey, since Becky Lynch, the man, is unable to compete. Anyway, in, to start the show right after that, we've got Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles getting into a tussle. Paul Heyman was on there to begin the show, trying to stir up some animosity between Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles. Uh, that ended up leaking into backstage, where Shane McMahon tried to get in between the two of them. And Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles, uh, we found out, were going to fight later in the night for the WWE Championship. Now, AJ Styles has held that title ever since two weeks before Survivor Series last year. AJ Styles had been WWE champion for over like 380 days, okay? So over a calendar year. And uh, AJ Styles to be a face champion, a good guy, and to have that title reign of that long was, uh, was just great. And was it going to continue? Was AJ Styles going to fight Brock Lesnar in the rematch of the century at Survivor Series? Well, it wasn't meant to be. I've got some more news about that later in the uh, talk here, so you guys want to check out for that. But we ended up getting a uh, matchup where Rey Mysterio and The Miz ended up fighting because The Miz said ended up becoming the sole captain of the Survivor Series men's team, a SmackDown Live. And Daniel Bryan was taken out of that match because he had a matchup later in the night against AJ Styles which didn't make a lot of sense because you're like, if Daniel Bryan was going to go ahead and win the WWE Championship, wouldn't AJ Styles just take his place in the men's Survivor Series team? So we ended up finding out that The Miz would go ahead and pick a man to replace Daniel Bryan. And uh, on top of that, uh, first of all, The Miz picked Jeff Hardy after Jeff Hardy won a match against Andrade Cien Almas, who's one of my favorite wrestlers. Uh, in the WWE today, and he's got the, uh, the most beautiful female in the world, Zelina Vega. She's a uh, Stone Cold Super Fox, man. I love her to death. Anyway, we ended up uh, finding out that The Miz wanted to kick Rey Mysterio off of his Survivor Series team, and the general manager, or the general manager, Paige, is like, no, listen, I decide who's in the matches, not you. You just go ahead. You're captaining the team. I'm picking a team. So Paige said, you know what? Mysterio can fight The Miz, and Miz, if you win, you can take him off the team. So The Miz, I'm sorry, The Miz ended up fighting Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio ended up winning that matchup. I thought it was a, a cool 10-minute match. But Rey Mysterio is still on the SmackDown team, which includes The Miz, Rey Mysterio Jr., Samoa Joe, Jeff Hardy, and then... Randy Orton still left off the Survivor Series team, but Shane McMahon was the uh, fifth member on the SmackDown Live men's Survivor Series team, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. You would think Randy Orton would be in there, considering he's been on SmackDown Live since day one uh, and has been maybe the best performer 
over the last couple of years on SmackDown Live, uh, most consistent along with AJ Styles. But we ended up finding out that that wasn't the case. Randy Orton ended up coming in, giving The Miz an RKO, and uh, Rey Mysterio ended up just escaping outside of the ring, so we'll see what happens with that at Survivor Series. But the main event, it was time to get a classic WWE Championship match. If you guys were checking your watches, you knew that we had about 25 minutes left in the show for AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan to put on a good match. You knew it wasn't going to go over 10 o'clock, uh, here Eastern time, but you knew that they were going to put on a good long match. I didn't know if Brock Lesnar was going to come out to close the show, maybe beat up AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan both, or maybe just soften up AJ Styles. Was that what Paul Heyman was there to do earlier in the evening? And then maybe Brock was going to give AJ an F5 through the table, but that did not happen. Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles ended up having a good classic matchup here uh, just days before Survivor Series. And uh, as you guys know, AJ Styles and Brock Lesnar, too, was supposed to happen this Sunday. But throughout this great matchup to end SmackDown Live, Daniel Bryan ended up turning heel. He ended up, AJ Styles went for the phenomenal forearm, and Daniel Bryan basically um, threw AJ Styles in midair into the referee. So therefore, the referee was knocked out. And then I was like, oh, shit, something's going to happen here, right? It's going to be good. And out of nowhere, Daniel Bryan takes the low road. He takes a shortcut, and he kicks AJ Styles in his marbles, man, in his family jewels, in his balls. And I'm like, oh, shit. And Daniel Bryan, out of nowhere, he waits for AJ Styles to get back up. And Daniel Bryan hits him with that running knee. And it's a, it was a hell of a running knee because AJ Styles got thrown back on the back of his neck and head. And Daniel Bryan turned him over, and he pinned him. One, two, three. Daniel Bryan won the WWE Championship. Uh, my God, who could have believed it? Uh, not even a year after getting cleared back in the WWE, Daniel Bryan wins the WWE title back. On SmackDown Live, the same place where AJ Styles defeated, or, you know, on the same show that AJ Styles defeated the then champion one year ago, Jinder Mahal, to then fight Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series. And lightning struck twice here before Survivor Series this year. And Daniel Bryan is going to fight Brock Lesnar this Sunday. I read it on WWE.com. It's official. Brock Lesnar, Universal Champion, versus Daniel Bryan, WWE Champion. Now, right after the match ended, Daniel Bryan ended up beating the hell out of AJ Styles, giving him some kicks to the face, where I'm wondering, is it some type of injury storyline? Is uh, AJ Styles hurt? Are they just... Did they pull the title off of AJ Styles because he's hurt and he requires surgery? Is he going to be out for some time? Or is there an ulterior motive here, which I'm going to talk about in a second. But what a vicious beatdown on AJ Styles by Daniel Bryan after the matchup, man. Daniel Bryan beat the hell out of him, kicked him in the head probably about 15, 20 times, and had him in an arm lock at the same time. AJ Styles was defenseless. Uh, everybody in the arena and the broadcast team, Corey Graves, Byron Saxton, and they were shocked. Nobody could believe it. I'm thinking to myself, damn, I was really looking forward to that AJ Styles match versus Brock Lesnar, too, because it was probably the best match of 2017, which AJ and Brock had last year. But then I'm thinking, Daniel Bryan and Brock Lesnar, we've never seen this matchup. It's a David versus Goliath matchup. What's going to happen here? Uh, Daniel Bryan, heel champion. What's going to happen after Survivor Series? We don't know, but I've got a few short things I want to talk about right now. Survivor Series was drastically changed tonight on SmackDown Live, and the landscape of the WWE has been changed. Okay, And if you're looking into the bigger picture, you know that Monday Night Raw is low on superstar talent. Okay, And I, what I mean by superstar talent is guys like on the you know, main event scene that have been in the WWE for some time and bring legitimacy to the Raw brand on Monday nights. As you guys know, at times here since the draft a couple years ago when they split the two shows up with different rosters, once again, you know that Monday Night Raw has dealt with a lot of injuries and has really been, you know, shorthanded for much of the last two and a half years. But think about this. Did AJ Styles lose the title to Daniel Bryan because they are moving AJ Styles to Monday Night Raw to win the Royal Rumble in 2019 at Chase Stadium in Phoenix, Arizona. And is AJ Styles going to challenge Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship 
and as the top mountain, you know, the top dog on Monday Night Raw. Is that what's going to happen? Is AJ Styles a phenomenal one? The man that built the pl the face that runs the place on SmackDown Live, he's the one that built the son of a bitch. Is he on his way to Monday Night Raw? And is he going to don that red brand for the next couple years of his career? I think it's a big possibility, guys, because what other match are they going to put on with that type of great appeal at WrestleMania? Okay, that's personally what I would do. And I think if Vince McMahon were to go ahead and you know, plan out his WrestleMania 35 here. Triple H is possibly injured. Kevin Owens is injured. Sami Zayn. Um, we don't know if Kane's going to be able to wrestle. Or um, Roman Reigns. Is he going to be back in time uh, from his battle with leukemia? I don't think so. I haven't even seen Roman Reigns in any of the uh, video packages and vignettes of WrestleMania 35. The ticket's going on sale. The whole preview for the show that they're showing you on uh, every Raw and SmackDown Live. Roman Reigns was, is not on there, so I'm, I'm wondering, um, is AJ Styles getting moved over to Monday Night Raw to take that next step? Also, I did find out uh, the Mixed Match Challenge. As you guys know, uh, there was just news brought up here at the WWE, uh, uh, WWE.com in the last day or two that stated the winners of the Mixed Match, mixed match Challenge would be given the 30, number 30 spots for both the men and women's Royal Rumbles in 2019 in January in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. In that beautiful Chase Stadium where the Arizona Diamondbacks play, what's going to happen? And then I'm thinking to myself, well, AJ Styles and uh, Charlotte are just going to go ahead and win, right? Well, that's not the case because after SmackDown Live, that's where they go ahead and shoot the Mixed Match Challenge, which comes to you on YouTube Live. Anyway, what happened was... Charlotte did not fight with her tag team partner, uh, AJ Styles. Uh, what happened was Jeff Hardy took the place of AJ Styles and fought with Charlotte in a tag team match on the Mixed Max Challenge. So does, that tells me that AJ Styles is hurt, that he's injured. Um, you know, And that is not good for the WWE right now. They just lost their big dog, Roman Reigns, on Monday Night Raw. Uh, Brock Lesnar on his way back to UFC holding Vince McMahon um, ransom, getting as much money as he can for any appearance in any match that Brock Lesnar's in. Um, I mean, and then, you know, uh, Triple H just getting injured. Um, Undertaker on his way out uh, of his career. Uh, other guys getting injured. And then on top of it, we go ahead and see AJ Styles lose the title quickly, which looked like it was, you know, um, maybe not you know, necessarily planned out ahead of time for months and months. This must have been, this might have been something that happened within the last couple days or the last couple weeks. AJ Styles has been rumored to be working injured for much of the year here in 2018. Is AJ Styles going to um, take some time off and, uh, you know, to heal some injuries before we go into the WrestleMania season? Or even more possibly, is AJ Styles going to be out of WrestleMania with an injury? These are a lot of questions I hope that WWE.com um, are able to give us news here in the next couple days before Survivor Series. But we had a great, great show on SmackDown Live um, just showing you that anything can happen in the WWE. Daniel Bryan, I never thought he would get the WWE title back so soon, especially with his concussion issues and his injuries. And then on top of that, he was one of the um, superstars who refused to go to Saudi Arabia along with John Cena. Those two declined to go to Crown Jewel um, for that event in Saudi Arabia, I thought Daniel Bryan proved that he was not a, a company man. He was not willing to bite the bullet, so to speak, and uh, bite his pride and then do what the company wanted him to do and have that title match against AJ Styles at WWE got Crown Jewel. I mean, what a turn of events. Uh, probably the most you know, surprising... Um, Turn of events before a pay-per-view ever. I mean, we had a couple main events. Ronda Rousey, Becky Lynch scheduled to go on this, this Sunday at Survivor Series. That has been changed to Charlotte Flair going up against Ronda Rousey. And now AJ Styles set to go up against Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series. WWE Champion versus Universal Champion. Those plans have been scrapped, guys. It's Daniel Bryan, WWE Champion, going up against Brock Lesnar. Universal Champion Survivor Series. The Russell Cave is going to give you guys a whole predictions and preview. But remember, we want to find out very specifically what is AJ Styles doing this Sunday. 
if anything. That is going to give us uh, big clues into what the future is here heading into WrestleMania season with AJ Styles, one of the biggest performers in the WWE today. And uh, as always, guys, I will bring you guys more breaking news as soon as I find out anything. So like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. I'll see you guys later. Much love. Wrestle Cave. Peace.